Hello and welcome back to a new video. I'm excited about this one. I haven't changed my hair up in a while. I got these little Bow Wow braids right now. <laughs> first things first, this video is in collaboration with Janet Collection. Thank y'all so much for reaching out to me, allowing me to get creative with a new hairstyle. So I chose these jumbo faux locks. I've had faux locks before, but these are shorter. These are about the actual length of my hair um, with shrinkage. The exact hair I got is Janet Collection's Nala Tress Jumbo Faux Locks. 12 inches in the color two. The hair is light, bouncy, and it comes with this pre-made crochet loop, which is extremely helpful. They really hooked me up. Thank you. This is a lot. <laughs> Let's get right to it. So starting at the nape of my neck, I begin parting, and I'm not gonna talk too much about parting in this video, but I wanted to show y'all a trick I use for cleaner parts since I can't see the back of my head. Using my fingers, I feel for certain dips or bones that can act as a guide. So here I felt a bone behind my ear and I'm using that to give my comb a sense of direction and end point on the other side and voila you see it's not perfect but it's doable now sorry to jump to the end but I wanted to give you all a more visible section to show you exactly how I styled each piece I brushed first to clear my hair of any tangles and then I added a real dime size of olive oil cream. I focused that on my roots and my scalp, making sure it feels moisturized and hydrated. And then I added half a pump of this argan and macadamia oil. This oil is definitely thicker than your average, but it still penetrates and works well with other products. Last of the products, I added Miel's Twisting Souffle. This has a thicker consistency to lock in the moisture, but I focused it on my ends because they were just dry as hell. <laughs> One last brush through, and then I began braiding about a quarter of the way. If you don't know how to braid, I do have a tutorial, so check that out. Help me help you. Each one teach one. <laughs> I brushed one more time just to see if my hair would tell me it needs more moisture and it sure did as it spazzed out. So I added a bit more of that souffle and twisted the rest of my hair. I know this might be more than what others may do, but I wanna make sure my hair isn't drying out while it's in this style. Once that's done, it's time to crochet. To grab the faux lock, gently slide the crochet tool against your scalp through your section. With the latch open, place the loop on the faux lock within the hook, secure it in place by closing the latch on the tool, and slide it back through the section. Once it's a bit of the way through, without widening the loop too much, I grabbed my hair plus the faux lock and pulled it all the way through the loop. I continued to gently pull on the lock to tighten that loop around the root of my hair. Now the last step is to hide my hair within the faux lock, so here's how I did that. Using the crochet tool, I start about a quarter of the way down and slide it upwards through the lock until it exits at the very top. Once there, I place the lower end of my hair in the hook, close the latch, and wiggle it back through. Once I can grab it on the other side, I prefer to ditch the tool and gently pull it through, holding on to the lock so it doesn't stretch it out. I repeat that same hiding technique until my hair is all the way through the full lock. Now, as you can see, my hair is a bit longer than the faux lock, so here's how I hit it. Starting at the top, with open hands, I gently press the lock back and forth while applying a little pressure between my hands. Doing this keeps the form of the lock while being able to lengthen the lock to cover my hair completely. And that is how it's done. Enjoy watching the process.
man, it took me way longer than I expected to do this hairstyle. Overall, I used three packs of hair. This style has added no extra weight to my head. It's extremely light. Even as I flipped it back and forth and messed with it, put it up in a hair tie, I didn't feel any extra pressure on my head, which is all I want. And I know some of y'all like when I end these little hairstyle videos with an actual makeup look. So, drum roll please. Thank you again, Janet Collection, for this collaboration. Let me know in the comments, how do you guys like this style? I've been wanting to do this for so long. So happy I finally got to do it. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Much love to you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. I need to get a before picture. <laughs>